Okay guys, welcome back to my channel Lucy Curios. My name is Elizabeth and I have an order to ship out tomorrow from Poshmark. Um, I don't do a lot of clothes, I'll just do knickknacks and things. And I decided to use my computer tonight because there is something going on with my battery and my camera. So we're going to go through these items quickly that were all boxed together with the ones that I need to ship out. And first off, we have this little calf, and he's things like he's got a bell inside of him. He's wearing a bell, so I don't know what they put in him. But he does have a chip on his little leg, which is pretty bad. I'm considering repairing him. He is marked Japan, so he's not too super old, but he's a cutie patootie. Um, I like his, like, Elvis-type hair. Then I have this, I believe it's Yukago, the writing wore off on the sticker. But I have it marked down somewhere. I know what it's made of, or who made him. But he's a little dash-on figurine. He's got his little whiskers. He's a cutie pie. Um, he's a rather large piece for a dog. Not large, but, you know... Bigger compared to, let's say, a normal sized dog figurine. And this brings me to my little boxer. And I believe he's made in Taiwan. He's, um, Bone China, definitely for sure. But he just has that Taiwan look to him. And he's like an angry looking boxer. But I have a boxer. My dog's a basset hound. I don't, um claim the boxer I tell him my dad that's his dog then they said this is Shafford or Staff Shafford Shire I'm not too sure what it was I saw it on worth point and then I followed the listing to eBay and supposedly it was worth like 200 something dollars according to worth point and they do not sell anywhere near that but he's cute he's got a giant nose I don't know if he's like a standard poodle or what I don't remember he does have the marking 1817 on the bottom, and he was $1.35, which is also written on him, and hopefully I can rub that off, but he doesn't have any damage. He's a cute little guy, kind of a bigger dog, too, like the Dash Hound. And then I found my Redware Donkeys, which they kind of match each other. Um... I got these at an estate sale. They do have the Made in Japan stickers on them. They're hollow. Um, the paint's like not under the glaze or the gloss or however you want to say it. But they're some cute guys. I like them. Then along with the other things in that box was this glass cat. And he's got a brass head and I'm pretty sure he's a paperweight. He's flat on the bottom. Um, the brass is starting to wear to like silver, but he's also cute and I kind of like him as well. Then I had at one of my honey holes in another city picked up this dinosaur paperweight. He's got controlled bubbles in him. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. And he's got a tiny little chip on his back end, which you probably can't see. Um, but I mean, his tail's all there. It wraps around his body. He's a cute dude. I like him a lot. I like dinosaurs. Um, so, picked him up. Then I got these Welsh pigs, and they're marked whales on the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to read it. Um... And my hands always shake, so it's probably hard to see. But they're stamped in there. And they have little holes in their noses. And somebody on one of the, I think it was like the Crazy Lamp Lady group on Facebook, had told me these sell for about $25 a piece if you're patient. And I'm starting to get impatient because I've had these a while. So um, hopefully I can do them in a live sale for cheap. But they're heavy. They're weighted. Um, and they're blue and kind of like a speckled gray. And they have the little swirl tails. That design that, uh, what was it? Truck, 
trusty huckster mercantile or something like that was talking about in his picture frame. That design has been around for years and years and years. And then I had picked up this turtle. And I was like, he doesn't look that fancy. And he's got luxurious lashes and a pretty little smile and he's cute as heck. And then you flip him over and it says Caltagirone. Maybe, oh. Caltagai Rome, Arte, A R T E, Matob or Hatob. Anyway, I looked them up, and apparently the pottery that comes from there is worth a lot. And um, I don't have them listed for a lot just because he doesn't look special, and maybe I should reconsider that. But again, I'd like to move over to live sales and just start doing more inventory, but he does have a lot of crazing on him, and it's almost like somebody drew on the eyes, and I don't know. He's got like a Tonala like look to him, but he's definitely Italian, and kind of boho looking, but he's a pretty little turtle, if anybody out there likes turtles. Turtle. And I picked up this goldfinch, and I like to hold him like out like out of the view of the camera and just get his little head poking in which I'm having a hard time doing now I had him listed like that in one of his photos but he's marked goldfinch on the bottom and has some numbers stamped on there and from what I saw I believe on worth point again I'm not a member of was that he is a left in peace he has no issues, except I know this thing had to have a wood stand or a base or something to sit on. And he does not have that, but he is flat and he sits well. Um, and then lastly, the piece I'm shipping out for tomorrow that I sold on Poshmark, or pieces rather, are these pairs of, they're either German Shepherds or... What did somebody tell me? It was like some kind of wolf, and I'm not sure what the wolf was. Timber wolves. But I think they're probably meant to be German Shepherds. They're bone china, and again, they have that um, Thailand look to them. So I believe they are Thai. And uh, I think Jeffrey sold one of these in his sale the other night. Um, real nifty vintage. And so I just have a pair of them. They look a little bit different from each other. Like this one's got a dark face and this one's got a little lighter face. And this one has some rough patches on his ears, but that's what's going out tomorrow. Um, and that was everything in that little knickknack box that I had. Like I have boxes upon boxes upon boxes of stuff. Um, the good thing about Poshmark is the label is already taken out of the cost, so like if you sell something, you know how much it's going to be to ship, and you're allowed to use any um, flat rate shipping and send it priority. So although these would be like first class rate, they do ship priority, so I will be putting them in a box in a flat rate envelope and putting, a, putting the Poshmark label on that. Um, I'm going to send it. I have different thank you cards, but since they're dogs, I'm going to use little dog card. And I also have these 1980s genus, um, gosh, I forget, Parcheesi cards. I think it was Parcheesi, something like that. And they have questions such as, what state has the highest overall elevation, which is Colorado? And then... Along with those, I'm probably going to add some little die cuts. I have these little butterfly die cuts. I always like to add something in there. Which is another good thing about Poshmark is like you can ship up to five pounds with any label. And so I can always throw in some like bonus stuff. I did pick up some more butterfly die cuts. These are the blue butterflies. I think I got some purple ones as well. I wish I would have had these when I shipped my friend Erin her package because she has the most beautiful blue butterfly tattoo. Um, what else? Oh, like I was saying, since it's Poshmark, you can put anything up to five pounds. So I have this box of like randomness 
when I get my jewelry hauls and like this is a 1987 G. It says senior 1987, which the, is the year Aaron Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage's boyfriend was born. And I only remember that is the only reason I remember that is because that is the year I was born. So I'm going to hang on to that one for a bit unless I ever ship something over to Jeffrey and Aaron for fun. But I'll probably pick her out some kind of knickknack out of here. Or knickknack, I don't know what to call it. Like, I got a little Boy Scout um, tie clip, I guess is what you would call it. Or scarf clip. <laughs> Somebody's no more suffering 90 days. Um, Alcohol Anonymous keychain, which is kind of sad they got rid of that. Um, let's see. Wounded Warrior Project. Tie tack. Not tie tack, but tack pin. Um, this is a cool little Mardi Gras piece, but it needs to be glued back on, the little gemstones. And a really cool button. It's like some kind of stone. So yeah, I get to add cute little knickknacks into their packages. So I'm going to go ahead and package these guys up and maybe give you guys another look at my shelf i'm gonna add all these guys and with the stuff from my last video and i hope you enjoyed everything um you know i got your back if you ever need anything i'm like a horror movie lover i like weird stuff so um anyways i don't know how to do outros very well but if you like my videos, if they kind of resonate with you in any way, feel free to, you know, subscribe or definitely hit the notification bell because people keep asking me, like, um, when, you know, they don't know when my videos come out or they don't know what my channel is. My channel is my YouTube name, obvious, I guess not so obviously, but, uh, yeah, let me see if I can bend the screen down and you guys can kind of see all the little goodies. I hope you guys enjoy your day or evening or whatever it is you got going on and uh, see you next time. Peace. So I watched Homer Brown yesterday, so here we go.